Welcome to Thrive, Transformative Strategies for the New Year, the CLA virtual conference poised to redefine your approach to success. Today, we unite under the banner of innovation, ready to forge new paths in personal and professional growth. Each speaker today brings unique insights to propel us forward. Get ready to explore innovative strategies that will enhance your growth journey in 2024. Hi, everybody. This is so much fun. All right. What I want you to do is close your eyes, open your eyes, close your eyes, open your eyes. Okay. Congratulations. That concludes our mind mastery session on how to forget things. Ha, uh, just kidding. I was, uh, you know, trying to play a little game there with you that you just forgot that you had a whole session and didn't even realize it. <laughs> Instead, it probably would be more exciting to have me share some information on how we can increase our mind mastery and how we can really have that ability to learn some neuro hacks to manifest our dreams, overcome emotions and handle the challenges with grace and resilience and captivate connections to build billion dollar relationships. Um, the billion dollar relationship capital, it's really the most important asset an entrepreneur can have. So um, we have less than you know, 25 minutes for me to demonstrate how publicity and business consulting along with neuroscience can help you efficiently develop these deep mutual relationships and business that can successfully set you up uh, with really effective ways to do business, you know, from attracting new clients to um, affiliate relationships to collaborations and joint partnerships that are monetizable, you know, for earning higher financial possibilities to be ridiculously resilient in your life. So if I were to explain the entire brain to you, it would take me decades. Um, if you look at the history of science and our research and exploration, you can see that every day we're learning more and more about the brain and the mind, and we haven't even really started to tap into the possibilities of what's available for us. And then there's so much that we're learning that we are actually expanding our potential every day. So what we do know is that our mind believes everything it hears and sees. Really, our minds are like the internet. Now let's think about that. You know, that joke, everybody says, oh, if you read it on the internet, it must be true. Well, if you've heard it or you've seen it, it must be true. So even when we tell sarcastic jokes or say things are funny or say things in the negative, and we're referring to someone else or repeating someone else's story or your own story, that's negative. Every time you hear that, your mind doesn't know the difference, whether it's something you're making up, whether something you're repeating, or whether it's reality happening now. And, you know, if you were to look back in your life, you would probably see situations like that, where maybe you're telling a story about uh, something in your past, and all of a sudden you start crying. Uh, well, your body's reliving it. it. It's happening for you right in that moment. So if you have never met me before, you might be surprised to know that my clients named me the dream maker. So the dream maker, um, they said, um, their words are, you know, Dr. Andrea, you hope our dreams come true, you know, bigger than we ever dared to desire for ourselves. And, and I'm known for wearing red every day of my life. I have the red carpet connection. That's my main business, the red carpet connection. And red stands for relevance, enthusiasm, and delivery. So when you act red, R-E-D, then what you do is you hit your target market every time. And when I say target market, I, I, if you were watching me instead of just listening to me, some of you are listening, some of you are watching, I say R-E-D, you know, so I make the letter three. And then I say you hit your target market every time. And I take my two fingers as if I'm going boom, boom, you know, shooting forward with my hand. And I do that on purpose. Like that is actually a little neuro hack of its own. When I make my hand like this, it's almost like I'm shooting a gun, bang, bang. And uh, it's because I used to work in law enforcement. So I grew up in a really tumultuous household. I mean, when it was great, it was great. My dad and mom were very loving, very amazing and awesome. And then something would happen I would never know what it was and a bomb would go off and my dad would become very angry and just use his words and his hands to hurt, to cause hurt. And, uh, and living in that lifestyle of my whole life, I, I, I never knew what the trigger was. It, it was so 
obscure, um, living in that life and being told like to shut up. I had nothing important to say. And if he got mad at me, you know, he would ghost me or isolate me or lock me in my room and being afraid of a physical punishment or, and reality was it wasn't even the physical punishment that caused so much harm. It was hearing the words. So even as an adult now, and you guys might have experienced this in your life, what's a story that you remember when you were a kid, maybe from a, a bully or a friend or a mom or somebody at school or a religious area, a boss that said something negative to you. And you still hear those negative words in your head when you go to do something like maybe you're going to uh, go speak somewhere, or go on a date with someone or go apply for a job and you hear these, oh, you can't do that. Or you never were, you, you look terrible or you're too fat or whatever the story was. We have those things in our head and we hear those. So having those things in our head really interferes with our ability to function and move on. So I went into law enforcement, like I said, and in law enforcement, I realized that there was something more and what causes situations in people's lives to have them react in the behaviors that they did. So I left law enforcement and opened up a consulting practice on intimacy and relationships because I wanted people to have really good, positive relationships together. I wanted people to feel loved and to be able to share love in really productive ways. And um, that, re that relationship business, I worked for a lot of high-end level people, celebrities and athletes, CEOs, judges. And over time, they said, Andrea, I really like what you're doing. And what I was doing is I was actually focusing more on how they thought and how their beliefs and how their emotions led them to function in their behaviors rather than looking at just the behavior. And so I became trained as a biofeedback specialist and a neurofeedback specialist. So I learned about how the head thinks and how the body reacts to how the head is thinking and functioning. And in that business, then I became to have the red carpet connection because my clients started asking me to do things for them in their business. They're like, Hey, Andrea, can you come and speak with my executive team? Could you speak with, you know, this person or that, could you do conflict resolution? And I started solving all these problems for them that would just come up. I'm really good at solving problems and at looking at things from a bird's eye view and a low view that gave them the capacity to look at their businesses differently. And then during that time frame too, I got myself on 2020, CNN, Prime News. I was doing all this stuff. I did over 2,500 radio shows. Now, the only reason I'm telling you this stuff about myself is for you to understand why it even led me to talk about what I'm talking about now. And all of that publicity, then people started then asking me to add to what I was doing for them to do publicity consulting and publicity business consulting to help them reach higher levels in their business and the athletes to be able to you know, play a better game and for the celebrities to be focused on what they were doing, whether they were in a movie or uh, whether they were a speaker, whatever kind of celebrity they might be. And so from that area, from that situation, I realized the more I did with the red carpet connection, it all led back to the neuroscience. So I've spent the last oh, five years, maybe 10 now, uh, focusing back on the neuroscience of everything. So uh, you know, I'm known for wearing red every day. I started living my brand. So I wear red, I have since 2010, and I am known for having a bright red smile. So <laughs> usually red lipstick, today it's a little more brown. But there's this dedication that I have to, you know, living life more and more uh, and learning as much as I can, because it's really important to me to help people achieve higher levels of possibility for themselves by guiding them to overcome pain and sorrow. I don't want anybody to ever live like I lived, where I was constantly waiting for a bomb to go off and not knowing. And when it did, not knowing how to handle it. So that way I wasn't in trauma and in despair. So um, you know, as I'm sharing all of this, you know, I just want to just give you a glimpse of that so that you can understand that with everything that I've learned, I've been able to pull all this together. Uh, by the way, I do have three PhDs um, and I have certified in like 19 other things. Again, ain't a brag moment. I mean, you don't have to have a degree to be really, really, really smart. 
but what it's the experience of it all and being able to bring all that together. That's how I'm packaged. So it's just an opportunity for you to understand how my brain works and how I'm able to pull information for other people. So the purpose today is for us to figure out how I can share some neuro hacks with you to have a successful mind mastery of your own, to help you assess greater powers of your mind and how you can have better results right now, right in this moment. And right when you leave here, you'll be able to take these things with you. So let's explore that. So I want you to think about um, right now, we're going to talk as if we're talking in, I'm going to call them circles, but they're like areas in your life. So if I had a slideshow here, we, we'd be looking at circles, but right now I'm just going to put my hands here, here, and then here and here. And I'm going to talk about some circles and how they relate to each other. So in one circle, we have results. Results are up here because that's what people always want. I'm here for results. That's what, it, if you're here for results, raise your right hand. I'm here for results. Okay. But the funny thing is, is when I speak with people who want to change the results in their life, often they're not interested in doing what's necessary in order to change the results. So in other words, they want results, but they'd like a magic pill or, you know, woo magic to make it all happen. But what I've realized and what you might have realized is that life and the results in life are based upon one thing, our behavior. And our behavior, and that's here, our behavior's here. So our behavior, uh, people are unwilling to change their behavior. So the ideal dream would to see a mind mastery neuroscience still do what they always do and then somehow magically get a different result. But that's not the way it works. It feels like magic sometimes when you do do the things and you do get the results, but in reality, it isn't magic. It just feels good when it actually all works and you actually do the process. But before someone changes their behavior, they have to take action. So they have to take some kind of action, take action, and they have to change the amount of potential that they have. So I firmly believe that we all have unlimited qualities of potential, but some of us never fully tap into that potential because of their beliefs. So our beliefs is the ability of where it all happens. You know, our beliefs ironically are reinforced by our results. <laughs> so it's like a never ending loop. So I call it the circle of life. So we have these results and then we have, I'm going to put the beliefs here in the middle. I'm going to add a fifth circle. So we have our beliefs here in the middle and our beliefs have results. And then we do results. And then we have more beliefs because we'll say, well, this happens. So therefore this happens. But then when you do this, this happens. And so that's never ending loop that you just keep recircling um, can be very, very frustrating for people. So in actuality, it's not even a circle. It would appear like a circle because you're going from one to the other. And, but if you were to look at it, three-dimensionally, what you would see is a spiral. And the spiral would go up. So like start here in the middle and spiral up, or it would come from the middle and spiral down. So we're always spiraling up towards level of success and achievement, this, oh, you know, phase, or we're spiraling down towards uh, disappointment and frustration and despair. Now, this is the exciting part and can be a scary part as well, because you, if you're in the middle, then you are, that's where people are stuck. When they talk about being stuck, that's the stuckness. When you are stuck, there's no motion. There's no movement. When you're spiraling up, even if you're barely up, you're at least in motion and therefore you can go up. And even if you're spiraling down and even a little down or even a lot down, the potential is, is that if you're in motion, you can bring that motion back up and find where you want to be your perfect area in life where you want to be. So that middle part that we talked about when you're neither up or down, you know, it's kind of funny. I, I thought of this childhood song. I, I haven't looked and researched about this song. So if somebody who's a researcher and loves to do this, help me. All right. When you're up, you're up. And when you're down, you're down. And when you're only halfway up, you're neither up nor down. I think maybe they were onto this whole vortex thing. <laughs> you tell me. 
So the question is, is what direction are you headed? Are you up or are you down? And if you don't like the direction, how can you reverse that process now and head the direction that you want? So let's explore this, you know, so can you, all right, let's, let me ask you a question. Can you change the results in your life without changing your behaviors? Hopefully y'all said no, but there's always one person in the crowd who's like, well, yeah, but that's called dumb luck. Well, it is dumb luck and I'm not giving a dumb luck seminar till, you know, next month. Okay. So we're going to skip that one. Yes, there is dumb luck there where you have really crappy things doing. You're doing nothing to change it and something just happens. Dumb luck. Okay. But at this point, I think it'd be safe to say that you can't reliably change your results without first changing your behaviors. <laughs> so how can we change our behaviors until we change the amount of potential? I said potential was up here. How do we tap into that potential? Well, what determines that potential, again, is our beliefs. I had that here in the middle. So here's the question, okay? So if we change our beliefs, regardless of what results that we've proved in the past, so can we change our beliefs here and change our results here by changing our potential over here? How can we do that? Okay, that's where hypnosis, hypnotic language, NLP, other tools works. What I say feels like magic, but it's actually you doing a process, having someone like me guide you, and then you have the results of magic that feel like magic. So I'm going to specifically talk more about hypnosis today and hypnotic language. I, I call it successful mind mastery. So one of the tech, it's one of the techniques that's, you know, available that can assist us in changing our beliefs. Now, uh, contrary to popular, popular science, it's easier to change our beliefs than we've been led to believe. You know, people say, oh, it's hard to change. Oh, you need 21 days. Well, what if you could change your beliefs in like two minutes? What if, wouldn't that be just so much a more amazing. So that in itself is an interesting belief. What do we believe to be true? So let's have some fun together and see how this works. Let me check my time. Okay. I got seven minutes. All right. So everybody uh, stand up in your seat. If you can't stand, just go ahead and stay seated. And if you're standing feet shoulder width apart, take your right hand out, point it straight out in front of you like this, woo, right out in front of you. And then I want you to Close your eyes and I want you to actually leave your eyes open for this one. Leave your eyes open. And I want you to turn clockwise until you comfortably feel yourself stop. Don't try to kill yourself here or do some kind of acrobats. We're, we're not in Cirque du Soleil right now. And then wherever you're pointing to, I want you to look at where you're pointing to and make a visual image of boom. That's where I can stretch to comfortably. Okay. All right, now come back to center point, back to the original. Now this time we're going to do it in our mind. Now in your mind, go ahead and close your eyes now. And I want you to make a decision right now that you can spin around and twist around further than you ever imagined that you could comfortably and easily. In your mind's eye, imagine Having your hand turn. Now, right now, while I'm talking, I just want you to be listening to me. I'll say go in a minute. I want you to and, uh, have your hand up in front of you. And I want you to begin turning in your mind, imagining going all the way to where you did. And imagine yourself going even further and further and further, going and spinning. Like it feels like you're spinning all the way around the room. Now, with your eyes still closed, go ahead and do that twisting now. Twist comfortably and easily, knowing that your body is comfortable and easy. And then open your eyes and look at where you're pointing. And make a noticeable difference between those two points that you just touched. Usually, you can go ahead and face forward now again. Usually, people notice about a 30% further expansion. So, let's explore why that happened. If you look at the results you produced the first time, they were the results of your twisting behavior. This was a behavior precipitated by your potential to twist your body around. So the amount of flexibility you tap into, tap into is based upon your belief. And this is where it gets interesting. 
Most people didn't establish a belief up front about how far they go, but nevertheless, that belief is still there. So you didn't cognitively go, oh, I can only turn and twist to the television or to the computer or to that book, but your mind still had a belief of that. So maybe it's only an unconscious belief, but it's still there. And that belief dictates the results that you achieved. So without judging the results, I asked you to experience different results in your mind. And the interesting thing about your mind is that it can't distinguish between reality and fantasy. We already mentioned that. That's been scientifically proven for over 20 years. So by making a decision in your mind that you can go further, you created this new belief. And this time it was conscious. And it allowed you to tap into this greater level of flexibility known as potential in the diagram. And this allowed you to take greater action and it produced an entirely different result. And it allowed you to experience firsthand what hypnosis feels like. So it's people expect hypnosis to be like this wildly bizarre sensation like you see on TV. Oh, look at the TikTok clock or whatever. You know, we don't have to do anything like that. We don't have to look like we're in a fair. I don't have to have you bark like a chicken. But let's think about this. In two or three minutes, we did that exercise and you were able to um, twist farther than you ever believed before. So if someone has a bad back, how do you think your back feels when you say it's bad? Well, I have news for you folks. Just like your hands listen to the idea of, or your body listen to the idea of twisting, the rest of your body is listening to your thoughts as well. If you say you're starving and then you wonder why you gain weight, well, you're starving is what you told it. So it's going to eat more and it's going to retain the fat because it's going to keep what you say. It wants to fulfill and make sure you're not starving. So be very conscious of what you say. Hypnosis about, is about having you consciously decide to change your thoughts to support the results you wanted to have in your life. So what would happen if every day you sat down and consciously decided to choose the way you think about your day? What would happen if every day you sat down with yourself and consciously chose to create a set of beliefs that would support you in having a healthy relationship, a successful career, monetize your life, a body full of energy, overcoming any illness? And what would happen if you learn the skills today on communicating with your unconscious mind to ensure the future you wanted? So I hope this help has talked you, helped you today to realize that you have far more potential inside just wanting to get out. And uh, with that, I've just given you a glimpse into the amazing powers that you have for yourself. So if you're interested in learning more about the mind-body connection, you know, I'm really happy to follow up with you another time for you to have this opportunity. There's some, you know, other gifts and opportunities. I'm the redcarpetconnection.com, as well as the things that come along with this program to be able to provide for you to have a, a opportunity to learn more about yourself and what you're doing for you. And, you know, suddenly things will never be the same. Your heart will take wing and you'll learn how to fly. Because someone like me loves you. So give your mind the opportunity to be able to explore and to learn and to grow and be mindful of the fact that you can create a new reality for yourself that no longer is a fantasy. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you for engaging with this session of Thrive. As we continue with our next speaker, remember the insights and strategies shared are steps towards your transformative journey this year. Stay connected for more empowering talks. The Connected Leaders Academy is committed to your ongoing journey of growth and excellence. Remember, this journey is just beginning. Let's keep the momentum going. Join our community at www.connectedleadersacademy.com.